the getting the getting game is going really well. <laughs> in case you in case you can't tell here, um, I've got the others put away. So one thing that I had noticed, ugh, I hit the top out, that he was not really liking this coming over his head. He has never really liked stuff on his back or over his head. So we're going to go about this a little bit different way with him. So he's comfortable, obviously, getting in the bag. Just to comment that if, and he should be around this way, if you have a prickier breed like a Boston, when you zip them up, make sure you put, <laughs> you put your hand on top of their head so you don't accidentally zip their ears up. That could be a serious ouch and you might never get them in the crate again. So since he doesn't like all this, why make it stressful if I have another, another avenue on this? Okay, free and free. So the beauty of these bags is there's more than one way to get in the bag. All my other dogs have not had a problem with this, but Dice does. And that's okay because as I've mentioned, every dog is different and you need to adjust your training methods for every dog. Because why not if you can set him up for success? And you can see he's very comfortable. Turn this around here. He's very comfortable getting in there. He crawled right in there like a ninja. Yes. Good boy. And I'm using my verbal clicker, which is yes. Oh, good boy. Good crate. I'm just going to close that up. Oh, good boy. And you can see he's not stressed by this. Before, he was being stressed by the top coming over his head. And I'm going to unzip it. Oh, good boy. And you can see he looks quite relaxed. He's not looking concerned at all. And then you just increase the amount of time that they're in there. What a good boy. I can even pop the top here. Good boy. Give him a little cookie in there. Oh, what a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And free. And he's probably not going to want to come out of there because the cookies only happened was in, in his crate, just like our crate games video. So this is just another version of the crate games. Sherpa bags tend to be much smaller, much um, more opaque than other ones. So tomorrow what we're going to do now is we're going to get him in there from the front instead of the top. And we're going to practice carrying him because that's a whole nother ball of wax. So we'll see you for the next one.